Welcome back. So here we are, second half of the week, and uh, actually here I'm using the machine to drill out these holes for these little um, mock-up boxes for the different parts of the lock system. So this is just some uh, aluminum square tube here that's going to be cut into pieces that are about, I think in this case, are about two and a half inches long. And so just drilling those holes in there, and we'll be using those to help uh, lay up the door and position where the actual locks are going to sit. And this is the larger boxes for the um, the hook locks that you saw in the last video. So these are a little bit wider. I think it's uh, three inch wide and uh, inch and a half uh, tall. And each of the boxes is about uh, four inches long. So just uh, getting those drilled. And again, as I said, we'll cut those up into the various lengths and we'll be able to use those um, in the next coming weeks uh, to lay up the inside door skins. And here's Roberto and Chris finishing off uh, bonding in these um, flanges here, or these uh, braces for the one of the door frames there. So those ones are getting close to being finished and being able to lay up the actual frames. And another bit of a milestone here, here's the second to last of the biggest um, platforms that we have. So this is the right side upper wing skin just starting out on the rough cut. And the, obviously the left side will be the last big one to go and then everything starts getting smaller after that. So that's uh, pretty exciting and you'll see more of that shortly. And here's the other door frame uh, getting the first half of the um, braces prepped for uh, for having the carbon fiber put on there. And you see Roberto is just putting some cabasil around the edges there just to sort of smooth things out before start starting to put the uh, carbon fiber over the top of that foam. And this is Thursday morning, so the first half of uh, the flat edge of the flat mill has been completed on this uh, upper wing skin plug. So now it's switched to the ball mill and uh, just running the transitions there. And then obviously it needs to be slid down on the table so it can work the other half of it. But there you can kind of see there's the leading edge of the wing and it's wrapped around because the actual um, bonding joggle is underneath on the actual part. So you're not going to see that sort of on the front when it's laid up. And here's the first of those door frames um, with those new braces on there and the flanges. So Jeff's drilled some holes there and uh, put some, um, putting the bushings into place here. So you can see he's got the pins there through the holes. And now he's bonding these uh, bushings into place. So bushing on either side and then it gets some uh, carbon fiber put over the top of that to just, you know, securely bond it so it won't come off. And then those uh, holes can be used for aligning uh, the two halves of the mold. Uh, before it's laid up and similar to what we've done on other two-piece molds already and back on the machine you can see here that the um, the plug has been slid down and so the second half of it's pretty much complete here just running the flat mill around the edge there just to take off the last um, of the foam down onto the board there that's not required and now you can see uh, most of it sort of cleaned off and around the edges and all prepped. And, and this is what happens when uh, you're not paying attention to your transition between tool paths. That bit actually went through there in the middle of the night and cut right through the plywood. Um, fortunately, it didn't hit the steel, which would have been a disaster. But uh, anyway, sometimes I still make mistakes with this stuff. Um, anyway, so here's Devin working on the uh, first of the uh, lower wing skin plugs. You can see he's uh, sanding there getting that one further along and here's the guys again they're putting uh, some cabasil around those uh, bushings that Jeff put into place and getting ready to put some carbon fiber over those and this is Zach sanding on the rear uh, tank wall plug so this is the one for the right hand side that one's uh, getting closer to being able to have its second uh, layer of primer and this is Thursday uh, evening so the that big uh, wing skin plug off the mill and the guys are just you see they've mocked up or laid out the um, fiberglass over the top of that and getting it all sort of lined up and everything before they wet it down with resin um, in preparation for having it sprayed with putty and this is Friday morning now so it's um, all dried already and so the the glass is all nice and hard on there and just it gets a quick uh, sanding with the orbital sander as you've seen 
before and then uh, Jeff gets out there and sprays putty on it so this one we had to pay or Jeff had to pay a lot of attention to make sure there was plenty of putty around that leading edge there because it would just want to drip off so he had to have uh, quite a few goes and layers put on there and we'll see how it turns out uh, once we start milling it but uh, you'll see in a minute we already had it up on the machine and it was looking pretty good for coverage on the top so hopefully we'll be okay on the front as well okay so here it is up on the machine and this is uh, the, the uh, mills just moving into position to run the first of the um, flange cuts here so I've got the short um, three-quarter inch flat mill um, installed in the machine and this is a, a new bit that's well, it's one of our older bits that's been resharpened so it's always good when you put a nice sharp bit in there so it's um, a little quieter when it's running and it makes less dust and just more shaving so it's always uh, exciting to see that and you'll see here starting out nice uh, clean cut there and big shavings coming off that's the sign of a nice sharp bit anyway so again a bit of a milestone with these uh, big guys and it's going to be weird one day when we don't have any uh, big platforms to mill anymore and all we have is uh, molds and uh, to create so that'll be good and this is a little bit further along so uh, the flanges are done on the first half and now it's moved on to the top skin and actually the way I've broken it up I do the top skin with a reasonable step over and then the leading edge with a much tighter step over and this is the uh, seat mount for the front seats the, the mold for that and you see uh, Devon has basically gone and put the braces in there when Jeff cut them and Devon glassed them in there so that one's done and it, this is the one that Zach was working on that, uh, yesterday that you saw so that one's ready for its uh, next coat of primer on there and, that, and that'll be ready uh, to uh, lay the mold for that one and here you can see this is Friday afternoon now getting sort of later in the day before we leave and uh, it's getting close to having finished that top face um, on the skin there so you see it's a the step over I believe running there is about uh, 20 thou so yeah and so there's still more to run there and they'll be up there over the weekend and that and just running a few more things and we'll finish it off next week and this is kind of like an overview here with a wide angle so you can see it's quite a big platform 16 feet uh, plus long um, but you know the machines really well dialed in so we're happy with that Anyway, that's our update for this week. Thanks again for watching.